back and let's look at fifth round action. Kenny Norton getting in his best blow of the fight, but Holmes otherwise dominating the round. The bell is rung for the sixth round. The fighters go at it. Kenny Norton in the blue trunks, Larry Holmes in the white, and Larry starts right in with that long, straight left. Getting through. See, half the time, half the time, Kenny Norton seems to be pawing with that left. Yeah, but did you see the way he threw that left hook? And Norton threw the left hook, and Holmes just brought that left elbow right up. Kenny Norton has to know he has not been able to make his fight so far. I've heard Slayton talking to him in the corner, and he has to know. But how is he going to change his tactic? Right there, a wild he did left it again. Hook. He blocked it beautifully with his right elbow up. Kenny seems to fear that right hand coming across. There begins to grow a kind of acceptance, it seems to me, on Norton's part. I don't mean an acceptance of defeat, but he is puzzled. He can't make it work. In the pre-fight conversations, he obviously thought he could get inside. But Holmes has made his prediction stick. This fight has been almost solely in ring center. And Holmes has been able to do nothing about it. Only once, and then just for a brief instant, was Holmes pinned against the ropes. Not enough time for Kenny to do what he wanted to do. And so you see Kenny in the main, pawing with that left as you just did, trying to come into the belly with a right. But Holmes is pawing, then Holmes is scoring steadily with that left. It's clearly the dominant blow of the match again and again and again. It's fallen into, as Holmes put it, his pattern. Good right fight. That overhand right by Norton. That's his hope for the fight. Clearly, he came in with it, and it's gone. Holmes with the low left, and Kenny again with a right. Now, if he can get in enough of those, Kenny will be able to begin to make his fight. You can be sure because Holmes will begin to decline from the power of the punishment. Holmes has settled down a lot now. He ought to start like he's dancing now. This is the only way to fight him. We're in the final 15 seconds of round six, and Holmes is now evidencing the kind of movement again that he showed against Shaver. And he knew he had to do it. He's fighting cleverly because he was stunned by the Norton right. We'll be back. All right, we're back live, and watch right now. That was Norton's second stinging right of the night. Holmes took it. He was momentarily hurt, but he took it, and that's another good sign from Holmes. Holmes, in my book, won the last round. Arthur McCanny's two, and I've given Holmes every round since the second. Five rounds to one. We gave Kenny Norton the first round. picks up his movement early in the round. Seems to me he's at his best when he's on the move because he's young and he still can get enough leverage and balance to make that left work as he did that. That's absolutely right, Howard. That's a great observation you made. Keep on the move and this is the way he'll beat Kenny. the voice of Arthur McCanny here at ringside with me. Good right there by Holmes. See, Kenny is attempting to get him in the ropes. That's where he's most effective, on the right. inside. Right, point we've made, and he hasn't been able to do it. Even right there, for a brief flash, Holmes was against the ropes, but quickly out to ring center. Oh, got it in there again. You could just see Kenny Norton's head snap. Very crisp jab, beautiful jab. Two more. Doubles up, and again, and bouncing on those toes. Now this Kenny's left that hand was bad. all the way down. That was bad, Arthur. He threw a right, Holmes did. He was off balance when he threw it, and he left himself vulnerable. He was in the air. But such is the state of Kenny Norton that he couldn't take advantage of it. That 
that's another thing Holmes has learned very well. How to slip a punch. Use the head as well as the arms and legs. Did it very well against Ernie Shavers. Seventh round action. And Larry Holmes, so far at least, fighting a beautiful fight. Larry better keep his left hand high. He's going to get tagged with the right. That's possible. He's been tagged twice. But over oh, yeah. right there. That's what Norton wanted him to do. Nor Kenny thought he finally had him in the corner. But no. Holmes got out of it. And Kenny was left off balance. We're down to 20 seconds left in round seven. So, all the rumors about the bad hand. All the rumors about the eye. So far, proved to be what they usually are. Golf. Kenny trying to work to the belly. We'll be back. Left eye, just above the left eye. There's a gash, and that can kill a fighter, as you know. Blood flowing down can blind him, and Holmes senses all of this. Watch from his corner. Comes out fighting, smoking. This is the way Holmes would like to end it. Beautiful slip, then. Break Norton down. Kenny suddenly with two good straight left jabs that he connected with. Hadn't been able to do it throughout the fight. Fighting for his life now. That's what they told him in his corner. He keeps walking into that jab all the time, Kenny does. Oh, Norton in this round so far is working his own left jab better than he's worked it anywhere in the fight since the first round. Got to be worried about that left eye, which is puffy. Blood starts to come from now. Want to get a shot if we can of Kenny. He may be cutting them out. Yeah, Holmes. Uh, Holmes is cutting him out. He's cutting him out. Yes, he is. He's bleeding. Blood coming out of the mouth now. Off the lip. An excellent round for Kenny Norton so far. His left working very well. And Larry not moving as swiftly this round. Kenny there had a chance to pin him against the ropes. Larry's holding now. Suddenly a turn in the tide of events. Larry trying to work the left. But with the blood coming out of his mouth, Got him a right, but it was a soft right Holmes did. And purposefully, Kenny is now pursuing him, sensing that see Holmes against the ropes or at least near them. Holmes is holding. Norton on the inside. Look at that lip. The cut is on the lip. You can see it clearly now, the lower lip. So the fighter tastes his blood, his own blood. Not a happy experience, I'll tell you. This is definitely Ken's best round. Oh, he's got him this round. Clearly, it's Ken Norton's round. No question about it. Up to this point, we've got 40 seconds left in the round. Now, Holmes dancing, getting in a couple of jabs. But there's Kenny's left. Norton Holmes with a right. But this round, Norton has made his left jab work for him. And that's been the difference. Two good quick lefts by Holmes. But a left and a right by Norton. Kenny now much more aggressive. You can see that he feels suddenly that he can handle this situation going down to the belly. Once he can fight his kind of fight, he's an excellent tactical fighter. Holmes better get off the rails about him. And so it ended with Norton on the rope, or with Holmes on the ropes, and Norton giving it to him. And suddenly, in the eighth round, Norton had a big round. We had given six in a row to Holmes. So the fight is still, from our point of view, one-sided. But it is Norton who has the punch. Let's look. They're working on that belt. Okay. Try and pick up the conversation. They've apparently stopped the flow of blood. It seemed to be from this distance and even with the close-up as they work over Kenny's left eye, I told you about that, both the tongue and the lower lip of Holmes that was cut. Kenny with the left eye puffing. Did you see that upper lip? Right there, you had a good shot of it as we approach the ninth round. And suddenly, 